Welcome to e Patashala. I am Anita, faculty from the School of Medical Sciences, University of Hyderabad. Today, let us discuss human physiology. This paper is on fertility. The learning objectives of this session is to discuss and know about human physiology. Human beings are either male or female. The reproductive organs of each sex cells that join prior to the development of a new individual. The embryo develops into a fetus within the body of the female and birth occurs when there is a reasonable chance for independent existence. The method of human reproduction is an adaptation to life on land. The male reproductive system. It consists of the following organs, the testis, epididymis, the ductus deferens and seminal vesicles. The function of the testis is to produce the sperm and sex hormones. The function of epididymis is to cause maturation and also store some of the sperms. Ductus deferens functions by conducting and storing the sperms. Seminal vesicles contribute to the seminal fluid. The other organs include the urethra, the pupus glands and the penis. The urethra conducts the sperm and the cooper glands contribute to seminal fluid and the penis is the organ of copulation. The testis. The testis lie outside the abdominal cavity of the male within the scrotum. The testes begin their development inside the abdominal cavity but descend into the scrotal sac during the last two months of fetal development. Sperm The mature sperm has three distinct parts, a head, a midpiece and a tail. The tail contains the 9 plus 2 pattern of microtubules and the midpiece contains energy producing mitochondria. The head contains the 23 chromosomes within the nucleus. The tip of the nucleus is covered by a cap called the acrosome which contains enzymes needed for fertilization. The acrosome enzymes are believed to aid the sperm in reaching the surface of the egg and allowing a single sperm to penetrate the egg. Penis It has a long shaft and an enlarged tip called the glans penis. At birth, the penis is covered by a layer of skin called the foreskin. Gradually, over a period of 5 to 10 years, the foreskin becomes separated from the penis and may be retracted. Circumcision is the surgical removal of the foreskin soon after birth. The penis is the copulatory organ of males. When the male is sexually aroused, the penis becomes erect and ready for intercourse. If the penis fails to become erect, the condition is called impotency. As sexual stimulation becomes intense, sperm enter the urethra from each ductus deferens and the glands secrete seminal fluid. Sperm and seminal fluid together are called the semen or the ejaculate. The contraction that expels semen from the penis are a part of the male orgasm. The physiological and psychological sensations that occur at the climax of sexual stimulation. Testosterone It is the male sex hormone. Testosterone has many functions. It is essential for the normal development and functions of the primary sex organs. It is also necessary for the maturation of sperm. Testosterone also brings about and maintains the secondary sexual characteristics in males that develop at the time of puberty. Female Reproductive System The female reproductive organs are the ovaries, the fallopian tubes, uterus or the womb, cervix and vagina. The function of the ovaries is to produce egg and sex hormones. Fallopian tubes conduct the egg. The uterus or the womb is the location for the developing fetus. Cervix contains an opening to the uterus. Vagina is the organ of copulation and birth canal. The ovaries lie in a shallow depression. 
one on each side of the upper pelvic cavity. The cortex contains ovarian follicles at various stages of maturation. A female is born with a large number of follicles, nearly 4 lakh, in both of ovaries, each containing a potential egg. In contrast to the male, female produces no new gametes after she is born. Only a small number of eggs, about 400, ever mature because a female produces only one egg per month during her reproductive years. Since eggs are present at birth, they age as the woman ages. Uterus is a thick walled muscular organ. The development of the embryo takes place in this uterus. The organ sometimes called the womb is approximately 2 inches wide in its usual state but is capable of stretching to over 12 inches to accommodate the growing fetus. The lining of the uterus called endometrium participates in the formation of the placenta which supplies nutrients needed for embryonic and fetal development. Female Sex Hormones The female sex hormones, the estrogen and progesterone, have many effects on the body. In particular, estrogen secreted at the time of puberty stimulates the growth of the uterus and vagina. Estrogen is necessary for egg maturation and is largely responsible for the secondary sex characteristics in females. Both estrogen and progesterone are also required for breast development. Uterine cycle The female sex hormone, estrogen and progesterone have numerous functions. The effect of these hormones have in the endometrium of the uterus causes the uterus to undergo a cyclical series of events known as the uterine cycle. Cycles that last 28 days. Menstruation days 1 to 5 Menstruation period proliferation days 6 to day 13. During days 6 to 13, increased production of estrogen by an ovarian follicle causes the endometrium to thicken and become vascular and glandular. This is called the proliferation phase of the uterine cycle. Ovulation usually occurs on the 14th day of a 28 day cycle. Secretory days. During days 15 to 28, increased production of progesterone by the corpus luteum causes endometrium to double in thickness and uterine glands to become mature, providing a thick mucoid secretion. This is called the secretory phase of the uterine cycle. The endometrium is now prepared to receive the developing zygote, but if pregnancy does not occur, the corpus luteum degenerate and the low level of sex hormones in the female body causes the uterine lining to break down. This is evident when the menstruation occurs. Reproduction The process by which organisms make more organisms like themselves. Two kinds of sex cells or gametes are involved. The male gamete or sperm and the female gamete, the egg or ovum, they meet in the female's reproductive system to create a new individual. Both the male and female reproductive systems are essential for reproduction. The female needs a male to fertilize her egg. The internal genital organs are as follows. Take a look at this picture. There is ovary on either side which is connected to the uterus via the fallopian tube. The uterus is in the center, in the upright position. It opens into the vagina through a narrow opening called the cervix. And there is the vagina, which is the female organ involved in copulation. The vagina has the labia minora and the labia majora. These are the external genital organs of the female. What does the female reproductive system do? 
The female reproductive system enables a woman to produce eggs, have sexual intercourse, protect and nourish the fertilized egg until it is fully developed into a baby and give birth to the baby. Male and female gametes, they, produ they are produced by the gonads. The male gonad is the testis which produces the sperm and the female gonad is the ovaries which produces the ovum, ova which is pure, plural and ovum singular. In summary, the cells in gonads of male and female parents where the sperm and the egg fertilize to produce zygote. The zygote undergoes mitosis to form the embryo. The sperm meeting the egg results in fertilization. The fertilized egg then transforms into a blastocyst and the blastocyst multiplies. Fertilization and implantation. This is the picture depicting the two. Pregnant female with fetus in the womb. Safe sex. Unsafe sex can lead to sexually transmitted diseases and HIV and even unwanted pregnancy. It is safe sex when the girl mentally and emotionally takes her own decision to have sex with free will and she and the partner both take appropriate hygienic and contraceptive measures. Use condoms for every sexual act. Keep oneself and one's genitals clean. Be faithful to the partner. Have only one regular partner. Do not indulge in casual sex. If having any genital discharge or what or sore, don't have sex, get treated. Use contraceptives to avoid getting pregnant. Sexually transmitted infections, diseases that spread through sexual intercourse. If untreated, some sexually transmitted disease can cause permanent damage such as infertility, the inability to have a baby and even death in the case of HIV AIDS which is very progressive. Signs and symptoms of sexually transmitted infection Unduly increased discharge per vagina Foul smelling discharge Curdy or greenish yellowish discharge Itching Warts Boils Ulcers on genitals Pain in lower abdomen Preventing sexually transmitted disease Abstain from sex Maintain personal and menstrual hygiene Use condoms, have one partner, if having a sexually transmitted disease, see a doctor and get treated. Partner too needs to be treated. Right time to get pregnant. Best time of getting pregnant is in 20s. Before that, the girl is not ready mentally, physically or financially. Pelvic and genital organs like uterus are not strong enough to bear the child. The adolescent girl is not mentally or emotionally mature to care for herself and the newborn baby. What if the girl gets pregnant at a young age? The complications of pregnancy are more in younger girls. These are listed below. Anemia, physical weakness, may lead to several abortions, uterus may rupture, may get infection, may bleed or may have other problems like birth injuries, may even end up with death. Her education and independent growth get restricted and the girl's role in the family and society gets restricted. Effects on the child include, it may be harmful to the newborn child, more chances that the baby is small or has low birth weight, baby may be sick, there may be birth defects, or might even die during or sometime after delivery. Preventing pregnancy, safe period. In the menstrual cycle, there is a time when even if the girl has sex, the chances of getting pregnant are very low. 
time other than the fertile period is considered safe period. Preventing pregnancy. Condoms, when used consistently and correctly, are the only form of protection that can help stop the transmission of sexually transmitted disease such as HIV and prevent pregnancy. Preventing pregnancy. Oral contraceptive pill or the birth control pill includes a combination of an estrogen and a progesterone. When taken by mouth every day, these pills inhibit female fertility. There are few contraindications for prescribing oral contraceptive pills and may have some side effects. These pills are to be taken only after doctor's advice although the auxiliary nurse midwives can dispense them for their future regular use. Managing Teenage Pregnancy All options made available to the pregnant girl should be considered carefully, including abortion, adoption and raising the child with community or family support. The pregnancy is diagnosed later, that is beyond 16 to 20 months of pregnancy. Puberty is a physiological phenomenon. Let us know what is puberty. It is the changes that occur in girls and boys as they grow up. Time when a person becomes sexually mature and it occurs between the ages 10 and 14 years. Changes take place over few years and also include emotional changes. In boys, there is facial hair, changes in voice, there is hair growth under arms, there is growth of pubic hair and the boys start ejaculation. The testicles get well developed. Among female, there is growth of hair under arms, there is growth of hip, the ovaries start to produce the ovum and there is pubic hair and there is onset of menstruation. Growth spurt happens, the body takes shape, there is weight gain during puberty, growth of hair. Some boys and girls get acne, menstruation and increased discharge from vagina in girls, boys break and erections and night drops in boys, psychological and behavioral changes occur during puberty, each one that is a boy and the girl they grow differently. Changes seen in girls during puberty are the first sign include the breast development which starts between the ages of 8 to 13 years, growth of bony pelvis which is widening of the hips, growth spurt where the girl grows taller, the body starts growing faster at ages 10 and 11 years, pubic hair between the ages of 10 and 14 and hair begins to grow in the genital area and armpits. Menstruation happens last. What is menstruation? Normal healthy shedding of blood and tissue from the uterus which, ex which exits the body from the vagina. It is commonly known as periods. It is a sign that a girl can now be pregnant. Normal duration of menstruation. This varies from girl to girl. The normal duration is between 3 to 7 days. It takes some months for the cycle to become regular. It occurs once a month for most girls. There is this picture on the right side which describes the menstrual cycle. The first 5 days of the menstrual cycle is when the bleeding occurs. Days 11 to, si days 11 to 16 are is the fertile time. Day 16 to 29 is the safe period. Now let us learn about the signs of menstruation. The physical symptoms. It includes cramps, a feeling of bloating, pain, weight gain, food cravings, swollen 
or painful breasts, swollen hands and feet, headaches, dizziness or irritability. Emotional symptoms include short temper, aggression, anger, anxiety, confusion, lack of concentration, nervous tension, fatigue or depression. What are the causes of irregular periods? Symptoms include duration between two cycles may be longer or shorter. The menstrual flow may be profuse or scanty. The causes include stress, which is a major cause. Young girls at the onset of the periods may have irregular periods. Dietary problems such as eating disorders or poor nutrition. Too much of exercise. Certain drugs, both prescription and recreational. Disruption in routine. Illnesses like thyroid conditions or physiological imbalance or psychological imbalance. What are the common causes for periods to stop suddenly? Stress is one of the cause. Illness or sudden short illness or a longer illness can cause the period to be delayed. Too much exercise, losing too much weight, being overweight or getting pregnant. In summary, the human physiology involves the male and the female gametes. These are produced by the gonads. The male gonad is the testis which is responsible for the production of sperms. The female gonad is the ovary and it is responsible for storing the egg or the ovum. The sperm and the egg, they meet during the process called fertilization. The, f the fertilized egg gets implanted in the womb of the female reproductive system. The egg and the sperm combine to form the zygote. The zygote undergoes mitosis and forms the embryo. The embryo grows in the womb of the female reproductive system. This is the picture which depicts the sperm approaching the ovum or the egg. If the sperm is able to penetrate the egg, it results in fertilization of the egg. Subsequently, it forms a blastocyst and here you see the blastocyst in the cross section view. The inner cell or the mass of the blastocyst is visible. The fertilization to implantation process is shown in this picture. The ovaries release the follicle. It releases the egg. The egg or the oocyte travels from the fallopian tubes and it gets implanted into the uterus or the womb. This picture shows the transit process of the fertilized egg from its site of fertilization to the site of implantation. Thank you.